Hello and welcome to Raudas Reviews. This time we have Black Metal from Wales, United Kingdom. This one is a peculiar case known as Iselder with the Neteldugivir Kymerig. I don't really uh, speak Welsh language, um, but it's really known Cyrillic or something. But I really like that these guys are sticking to their own roots and culture. That is something that we see in bigger countries not maybe intentionally but destroying nonetheless. We have it here in Finland, we have it that in various countries. So keeping those roots intact and doing respect to them is something that I can totally understand. Now Isildur got into trouble earlier, uh, I think it was 2021 when this album was supposed to be out for reason that he printed a t-shirt that was seen offended and charges were raised. And here is the story. Arrested for uh, inciting arson and criminal damage. That is, suspicion of that. Charges were dropped, as it is here since said, but that meant that this second album were postponed to 2022. And as you can see from here, this is very much a kind of homage to uh, Wel Welsh uh, tradition, culture, language, and all that stuff. So... Uh, describing this as Welsh uh, patriotic thing, I guess it's pretty accurate. Some people won't like it because nationalism mentioned here, history, heritage, and things related to Welsh. But then again, you have to understand that United Kingdom is mu as much united in culture and language and all that stuff as United States of America. If you don't get the hint from that, well, I will suggest that you take a look in the history lessons in your local school or university or maybe read some books. Now, I'm not vouching nationalism as such. I think it can be very, very toxic. But like I said, I understand why people want to kind of embrace it and uh, cultivate things. Like, for example, we have Sami people in uh, Lapland, part of Finland, and they're kind of being pushed, like out of boundaries, like leave this fucking country, even though you were born here and done that stuff. So these are complicated matters indeed. But we are not here to talk about politics or cards or history. We're here to talk about music. And Metal du Givre Kumreik is definitely one of my favorite black metal releases so far in 2022. Why? So I'll try to explain with this 30 minutes of an album. Starts with a quite of a manifest in the beginning as an introduction. Once you listen to it, you pretty much figure and you can calibrate your brain what this album is all about. And as you can see, the language used here is not exactly English. I mean, you can hear English being uh, sung in the songs and they deliver quite powerful messages here and there. But as you can see, the language used as song titles are not in English. And for obvious reasons, which I, I guess I just described you. So this one is a CDR printed in um, CD format, but I think that's the only way to do it, given that this is far from the mainstream kind of a music and one-man band, which is not exactly something that, hey, yes, let's make this a wonderful and successful band. But there is material enough to do that. Now, Isildur is very punkish or kind of hardcore-ish. Black metal is very straightforward, simplistic, and right to the point. To me, this reminds of Canadian black metal band Thesire, which I really, really like, but I get it, it's not for everybody. The message is almost like a little bit trashy, with the kind of a punkish and hardcore-ish elements, that is, simple riffs, straight in your face, not building so much atmosphere than just delivering those violent sentences and all that stuff. To me, it really plays well. The riffs are good and catchy, there's a certain kind of a grooviness that kind of a gets you going, and... Uh, I get it, it's very different than if you're listening to some Burzum or Dark Throne, and maybe this is not even meant for such audience. Now, even if this is called Welsh National Heritage thing, I wouldn't really relate this to NSPM as well. This is something totally different, even though there might be some overlapping elements. Like said, the music is very much leaning to trashier and punkier and hardcore elements, rather than the kind of a melodic Hitler riffs, if you would know what I mean. So, people who are very anti-nationalist or anti-patriotic will find this album problematic, I guess. But the same thing might apply to people who are all about, you know, NSPM stuff as well. They might not find this tolerable or likable. So, I don't really know what kind of audience this is talking to. 
to me it talks about this heritage to me it talks about because the riffs are great and it's not one of those cowardice, cowardice bands that you just like hey we're gonna play it safe space stop and blah 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 i don't really care if you don't like this idea or you don't like this music for me it's one of the best releases in 2022 it's a good and solid release which could only be somewhat better here and there when it comes to you know production and even some of the uh song parts but just in general it's a good solid album and i think people should give it a chance and check it out and if you are liking what the band or the man behind the band is saying with his band i totally suggest you should consider buying a cd or some merchandise if not well at least now you know about the band links are provided in the description box so do what you will that shall be the whole of the law take care and see you soon with more reviews coming away